Good morning or good afternoon or good night, Military Mom Collective, wherever you happen to be tuning in from. My name is Amy. I am the co-owner of Military Mom Collective, and we are a collaborative community for military families worldwide. We are moms, dads, service members, veterans, spouses, moms of military, and more. And together, we come together as one global community. Uh, so it is April. It is the month of the military child. And as a military mom, like you may be as well, we want to celebrate our military children. And so every Saturday, all month long, we are gonna have one of our favorite authors come and read a children's book with you. So this morning, I am so glad to have Charlene Goddard here with me. She is the author of Magnificent Macy. Uh, Charlene, do you just wanna introduce yourself real fast? Yes, absolutely. Hello everyone. So I'm Charlene Goddard. And I am a children's author. I released my first children's book entitled Magnificent Macy a little bit over a year ago. And my daughter, she's the inspiration behind the book. And my twin sister, Brittany, is my illustrator. I love that. That is such a sweet connection. Um, wonderful. Well, I am just going to let you get started. Read your book. Yes, awesome. So hello, everyone, once again. This is the cover to my book, Magnificent Macy. Macy was just an ordinary girl playing with her natural curls. She loved to play dress up in her mother's clothes makeup on her face, heels on her toes. Staring in the mirror at her reflection, red lips, bronze complexion. Walking around the house, mirror glued in her hand. Suddenly, she trips over a toy that belonged to her little brother, Sam. The mirror falls to the ground, shattering into bits. Mama runs to the scene and starts to have a fit. And this is Macy playing in, with the mirror and playing in her mother's clothes. And she falls. Let's see what happens next. There's her little brother, too. What is this? Mama yelled. Heels, makeup, and broken glass? Playing around with that mirror again, I see. We spoke about this in the past. Mama said, help clean up this mess. Go get the dustpan and the broom. Then it's bedtime for you, Missy. Head straight to your room. Macy cleaned up the mess, then went upstairs to bed. She thought, I have school in the morning. There is a better day ahead. The sun is up, it's six in the morning. The alarm clock goes, ring. Macy wakes up yawning. Stretching her body wide, she gets out of bed. Quietly to herself, she said, for some reason, I feel a little strange. I feel a little different, not quite the same. Macy heads to the bathroom to get ready for the day. She gets in the tub and starts scrubbing away. She is all nice and clean now. Out of the tub she goes. She dries herself off from her head to her toes. She catches a glimpse of herself in the mirror, but the reflection staring back really scared her. Look, who is that in the mirror? We're gonna find out. Let's see who's in the mirror. In the mirror, was a girl that looked like Macy's twin, except this girl was wearing a jumpsuit, mask, cape, and a grin. Ah, shouted Macy, leave me alone, let me be. The girl in the mirror held out her hand and said, follow me. Unsure and afraid, still Macy took the girl's hand. She stepped into the mirror and off to a magical land. Wow. Let's see where Macy lands. Let's see, where is she? 
Macy looked all around, wondering where she could be. An unfamiliar place. What beautiful sight she sees. Through the green forest, there are rivers flowing, chimpanzees swinging from the tall trees growing. Elephants, buffalo, and antelope all around. A land where water, food, diamonds, gold, and oil are found. Wow, look at all the animals and look at the water and the trees. Where is she? Let's see. Magnificent Macy, yelled a voice. We've been waiting for you. The world needs your help and you are way past due. Unsure of what she heard, Macy looked up and saw a bird. The bird said, it's okay, Macy. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. My name is Chirp and I will be your tour guide. Every mirror you glance in shows places of the world that are in need. It may be a different state, country, or just doing a good deed. Your job is to complete each mission at hand. This mission calls for you to save the people of Congo's land. So Macy is in a land called Congo. Let's see, what is that? Congo asked Macy, what is that? What do they need? Chirp replied, Congo is a country in Africa, a rich country indeed, rich in resources that only nature can breed. But at the same time, mothers have children they can barely feed. We are in the beautiful Congo Basin, but not too far away are families that live in huts, surviving off of a dollar a day. Now you're probably thinking, why is this land so rich and the people so poor? The answer to that question is because of long years of war. People from other places taking all the resources away, taking from Congo's people and hurting whoever stands in their way. So these are the houses that they, some of the poor people live in, in the land of Congo. Oh no, cried Macy, how can I help? What can I do? Chart replied, gather foods like nuts, potatoes, peas, and fresh water from the river, then put them inside your magic cape and take it to a family in need of dinner. Macy did as she was told. She gathered food and put water in a bottle to make sure it stayed cold. She placed everything in her cape and Chirp led the way, off to a home where a family of three stayed. So Macy's doing a good deed. She's going to help feed a hungry family. It's important to do good deeds and help other people. A tent made of nets, a home of a mother and her two boys. When Macy gave them the dinner, their hearts filled with joy. Thank you so much, said the mother. We've been hungry for days. You're welcome, said Macy as she waved and walked away. Macy walked proudly down the street, humming a tune and skipping her feet. She made a quick stop to use the bathroom, but when she looked in the mirror, she saw a face full of gloom. The girl in the mirror held out her hand and said, follow me, there is someone in need. Macy jumped in the mirror quickly with speed. The city of St. Louis is where Macy stands, a city full of crime, the most dangerous in the land. Macy looked down the street and not too far away, she spotted an old lady being robbed in broad day. Macy ran to the scene fighting with all her might. Her superhero strength is what helped her win the fight. Macy grabbed the pink purse and gave it back to the lady. Thank you, Magnificent Macy, she cried. I can't believe you helped save me. I'm glad I could help, Macy proudly said. 
Then she jumped out the mirror to head home for bed. Macy missed dinner time. She was ready to eat. She stopped by a corner store to buy a quick treat. A red delicious apple, Macy thought, would be the perfect buy. Then she looked to her right and something else caught her eye. Let's see, what did Macy see? In the corner of the store was a rack full of sunglasses by the front door. She picked out a black pair, walked over to the mirror to try them on there. Looking in the mirror, Macy saw a scary scene. It was the superhero girl, flames everywhere. As she screamed, Magnificent Macy, jump in, be bold. Macy was scared, but she did as she was told. She was now inside of a house on fire caused by a bad plug. Macy looked all around and quickly knew where she was. My house, cried Macy. Oh no, how could this be? Then she runs to the kitchen and can't believe what she sees. Little brother Sam in tears and trying to flee. Macy runs over, hugs him and says, little brother, you're safe with me. Macy scoops up little Sam from the kitchen floor. She runs past the hot flames and out the side door. All of a sudden, Macy hears a loud ring. She opens her eyes, but she can't feel a thing. Her body is numb and her brain is sore. After three tries, she's out of bed with her feet to the floor. Macy says to herself, wow, what a strange dream. Me, a superhero? How crazy does that seem? As she got ready for school, she felt a new sense of pride. The idea of helping people made her happy inside. So performing good deeds made Macy happy and made her feel good about herself. Macy walked proudly down the street, humming a tune and skipping her feet. Flying above her head was a bird singing a song so sweet. He landed on her shoulder, greeted her, and took a seat. The bird smiled proudly at Macy, then flew away. Macy then knew she was magnificent ever since that day. Don't be afraid to follow your dreams. If you put your mind to it, it's not as hard as it seems. There is a superhero inside every boy and every girl. You have to dig deep enough to bring life to its world. And that is the end of Magnificent Macy. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for listening to my story. And I just want all you boys and girls to know that just like Macy, you have a hero within you as well. And you just have to be brave and confident enough to pull the hero out of you. So always believe in yourself and know that you are capable of doing great things in this world. And I also want you boys and girls to do a little activity for me um, when you get a chance, just something for you to think about. I want you to, I want you to take a look in the mirror and I want you to tell me what makes you a hero? So I want you guys to think about that. What makes you a hero? And it could be anything. It could be something big or something small, okay? It could be something as small as I'm a hero because I like to help my teacher around the classroom. So think of what makes you a hero and what makes you special. Thank you for listening. Well, thank you so much, Charlene. What a sweet book. I love you, you know, as military parents, we always talk about how our kids are superheroes and they are so resilient, yeah. right? And so I, that's what, I love your book and I love Thank Macy you. because she has a great story and a great purpose yeah. to tell not just other kids, but even us as parents of like, yes, you know, when we help empower our children to do good things and to help yeah. other people in need, that it makes a big difference, not just yeah. around the world, but also in our own hearts. 
and our own yes, family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, if people want to buy your book, where can they find it? Yes. Yeah, so if you guys would like to check out my book, you can check out Magnificent Macy, Macy spell M-A-C-I-E dot com, or you can go to Amazon. It's on Amazon as well. So I would love for you guys to check that out. Thank you again Wonderful. for listening. Yeah, well, thank you so much. And if you guys watching have any questions for Charlene or about the book or for Macy, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll be watching the comments today. And um, either myself or Magnificent Macy can help answer your questions. Yes, uh, so you absolutely. guys have a great day. This is month of the military child. So make sure to tune in every Saturday for the rest of the month. Um, for another amazing author reading their book live. Uh, so thanks, Charlene. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.